As a professional videographer that works in a one-man crew, traveling with the most efficient gear possible is one of my top priorities. Since I'm carrying the cameras, the lenses, the tripods, the lights, the audio equipment, all the stands, you know, each piece of gear and the weight it carries is like one of the top of mind things for me. So typically because I'm conserving weight, I usually travel with this Peak Design carbon fiber tripod. It fits most of my use cases uh, for light work. If I'm doing just some indoors corporate work or travel, like this is perfect for me. But recently I went to Alaska to photograph bald eagles and I just knew that this tripod could not handle the gear I needed. And for anyone that shoots wildlife or sports, you'll know that the camera setups can get a little crazy. And so of course you need something that's sturdy but reliable in the field. And so this is where this Robus RCC 5560 comes in. So this Robus tripod has a load capacity of 55 pounds. It has a maximum working height of 60 inches and a closed length of 22 inches. It can go as low as three inches off the ground if you splay the legs. And it weighs just under four and a half pounds and it's made up of carbon fiber and aluminum alloy. So the build quality of this tripod will remind you of other top of the line brands like Gitzo, Really Right Stuff, Faisal. It feels really sturdy in the hand, but not cumbersome to carry around. Like I can hold this in one hand without a problem. It's got standard twist locks in four sections and it's got rubber feet that you can unscrew for any accessory that fits three inch threads. The ball head I have on here is the RTH uh, 1030. It's got a variety of controls on here and it fits Arca Swiss plates. Um, it's got a pan knob, tilt knobs, bubble level, and it has friction control in here. So ton of um, control with the ball head. I used this for one of the first times actually in Alaska. And the biggest impression I had with this was that once I took it out of the trunk of the car, I never had to think twice about it. Meaning that in the field, I didn't have to think about, is it flexing under the weight of my gear? Is it gonna blow over the wind? Is it annoying to handle? I mean, I had my Pro Media Gear gimbal on here. I had my Sony and a 200-600 and carrying it around from spot to spot wasn't a problem at all. So I think this tripod was the best compromise between weight and portability. For my specific use case, I needed to upgrade from the Peak Design uh, travel tripod, but not gain too much weight in terms of the process. So in order to talk about my situation, why I chose this specific product, I need to talk about the two tripods. The Robus 5560 can hold more than twice the weight of the Peak Design, while only weighing one and a half pounds more. It has a higher working max height without a center column, and it can go even lower than the Peak Design despite being seven inches taller. So you can see the difference in size here. While this can fit in your carry-on luggage, this is gonna have to be checked. But I have a lot of complaints about this tripod. Despite this thing being incredibly small, it actually takes much longer to use in the field. This ball head lacks a proper pin tilt function. The smallest legs here flex constantly. I mean, just look at this. Raising this center column reduces stability once you put a ton of weight on here. And finally, it comes down to this Allen key. You need this Allen key to customize anything on this tripod. So if you want to swap out this ball head, which I did, um, I swapped to this Acrotec ball head so I can pan and tilt properly. If you want to swap out the rubber feet on this tripod, you need this Allen key. If you want to flip the center column so that you can go low to the ground, because currently this is the lowest you can get. So if you want to take this out and flip it, you're going to need this Allen key. So knowing that, basically this tripod, while it fits a roll, is uh, not recommended to use once you're out in the field. If you're in a predicament like I am, I would highly recommend going with the Robus 5560. You should try it out. And we haven't even spoken about price. So the, just the legs here cost $429 um, with the ball head kit. So including this ball head here, it costs 638 US dollars on B&H. The Peak Design tripod comes in at 650, the carbon fiber version at the least is $650. So if you're worried about the cost of the Robus, you know, it's an easy decision to make here. It's not like you're saving a ton of money, you know, by going to a smaller, lighter tripod. So I don't want to sound like this tripod is like the worst thing out in existence. If it's a very specific use case, which is good for travel, um, it's probably good for someone that's just doing some very minimal photography with just a mirrorless camera and a small lens. 
But if you're in a niche like I am, this weird border between portability and stability, I think you should get the Robus 5560 or try it out. Because if you're in New York, you can go to B&H and they have it on display. So I have to say thanks to Robus because they let me borrow the tripod for a couple of months. Um, they didn't approach me. I actually reached out to them saying like, hey, I see this tripod that might suit my needs perfectly for this wildlife trip. Can I borrow it? And they said, yeah, come by and pick it up. So I have to give them a shout out and say thank you so much for letting me hold on to that for as long as I did. So this is a quick video, but thanks for watching and follow me on Instagram and subscribe if you like any of this content. Thanks.